Okay, so today we're starting our unit on waves, and today we're going to be talking about the parts of a wave. Um, so before we start, I want to review real quick from your bell work. Your bell work was talking about mechanical waves. We said mechanical waves um, transfer energy. That's the point of a wave. We said that mechanical waves require a medium or a solid liquid gas. Um, to transfer energy and um, I also want to point out that there's two types of mechanical waves so there's transverse waves that look like this and longitudinal waves that look like this we're going to talk mostly about transverse waves um, and the parts of the wave so your worksheet starts um, at question number one and it says the highest point on a wave is blank. So obviously the highest point of the wave is right here and this point is called the crest. So let's go ahead and fill out number one and the lowest point of a wave down here is called a trough. Okay. So crest and trough, they're opposites. One's at the top, one's at the bottom. Um, the next one, number two, we'll change colors. Um, it says the blank of a wave is measured, is a measure of the amount of energy it has. So the way that you tell how much um, energy a wave has is through its height. However, amplitude um, is actually only half of the height. So amplitude is from here to here. And you spell amplitude like this. So go ahead and fill that in for number two. Um, but it's super important for you to remember that amplitude is only half of the height. Um, it does not go all the way from the crest to the trough. It only goes halfway. Um, you can also say that the amplitude is from here to here, okay, as long as you only do half of the wave. Um, the next part is it says the distance from one crest to the next is the blank. So if I wanted to know the distance between here and then this is another crest, the distance in between here and here, so from here to here, that's called a wavelength. So it tells me how long the waves are. So essentially, this starts the wave. The wave goes down through a um, trough and back up to a crest, and that is one wave. So from here to here is considered a wave. Um, the next part, let me go ahead and Clear my table for you. Okay, so moving on to number four. It says the blank is a measure of the number of waves that pass a point in a given amount of time. So the correct word that goes there is frequency. Um, and I'll go ahead and spell that for you here. And then I'm going to show you what that means. So let's say um, we have one second of music playing. If you wanted to know um, which one of these waves, so I have, this is um, a mechanical transverse wave. This is also a mechanical transverse wave because they go up and down. Um, so if I wanted to know which one of these waves has the higher frequency, um, the way that I do that is I want to make sure that I measure both of them in the same amount of time. So again, I'm telling you that the, both of these played in one minute, or sorry, one second. And then I figure out which one has more waves. So it's pretty obvious if you just look um, that the bottom one has waves that start more frequently. So if you're frequently tardy to class, that means you're tardy a lot. If we have a high frequency for our wavelength, that means waves are starting very frequently. So if you look, remember we said that a wavelength goes from one crest to the next. So from here, um, let me change colors, from here to here, that's a wave. Then from here to here, 
here to here. And if I keep going, if I keep going and I label all of the crest, you can see how many waves are actually occurring. So from here to here, that's one wave. This would make two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So in one second, this transverse wave um, had actual actually eight waves, whereas this one had one, two, three, four, and five. So again, this one down here had a higher frequency because the waves are occurring more frequently. Um, go ahead and pause this video and I want you to try number five, letter A, B, C, and D. You are using the words that we just went over. So crest, trough, amplitude, and wavelength, and then also frequency. One of the words you're not going to use. Um, so go ahead and try A, B, C, and D, and then unpause to check your answers.